today, the six of you had to face off, creating two tattoos in different styles. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Holly. Holly's black and gray tattoo is a little bit rougher. Judges, it is time to determine who's going home. My vote's for Holly. Today, I'm going to go with Holly. The judges have decided. Holly, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. I definitely feel like I have more to prove and more to show in this competition. You know, it, it does suck that I'm, I'm going home, but I am glad that I was able to show what I can do, especially for this challenge. And, you know, I would rather go home for these tattoos than go home for a terrible one. Where you go to solid black, there's a lot of work going on in between building up to that solid black, which is why it gets a little rough for you. I can see what the judges were talking about in my tattoos, but showing versatility and stuff, I think I did a really good job better than some people in the room, so I don't agree with them on that, and I think that a lot of people aren't gonna agree with them in that regard. And there's gonna be a ton of people that are like, they're crazy. You did great tattoos. Everybody did great tattoos. There is no gimme today. For me to step out of my comfort zone in such a drastic way, it definitely shows my strengths and their weaknesses. I just feel like you should try harder. The rest of us are all trying wow. to do things that are out of our comfort zone and for you to stay in your comfort zone is just like... See, I don't, I don't understand that. Well, you did black and gray again. I mean, I mean, it's gray and gray. There's no black in it. Cam should have gone home. He did do the same tattoos that he's been doing this whole time. You got probably the two least versatile tattoos on the board today. Same with Paul. I mean, he did the same thing he's been doing the whole time. In terms of versatility, it's not really showing much. You're a great artist. You're so Young. Youngest in the room. I'm young. I'm, I'm only 24. Like, I've only been tattooing for five years. I definitely think that it's something worth mentioning to say that I've beaten time and time again tattooers that have been doing it for 20 years and I'm still here and I'm still rocking it and I'm still having fun and doing clean tattoos the whole time. Please pack your machines and close shop. This was a good foot for me to go off on. Like, you know, I'm, I'm proud of what I did today. I'm proud of what I've done in this competition, good or bad, it's a learning experience and I feel like I learned a lot.